My name is Laura Keefe. I'm the director of One Million Tiny Plays About Britain. One Million Tiny Plays About Britain is a collection of 30 short plays by Craig Taylor. So there's a few scenes where there's just one character, the majority are all or two characters, so the actors are playing at least 10, nearing 15 characters each. Um, they cover lots of different characters of different ages, so our youngest is about five and our oldest is probably about 80. And they touch on lots of different topics, so I was quite keen to find plays that still resonate with audiences today, um, that uh, maybe touch upon politics that feel relevant, um, and plays that are moving and touching. There's some quite sad pieces, um, there's pieces that speak about mental health issues, um, and then there's just some really silly scenes as well, which it was really important to find the, the humour and the laughter in the play as well. I'm Emma, and I'm playing a multitude of characters in the show. And I'm Alec, and any character that Emma isn't playing will be played by me. It's hard because if you, because the plays are really short as well, some of them. In fact, all of them are short to some extent, which is good in one way, because if you didn't like the one you saw, there's another one coming along in a minute. But for us, if we change, we have to change character very quickly, and you can't get halfway through the next play and go, oh, actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a eight-year-old boy here, and I've just left being a 70-year-old woman, woman. So we have to, you've got to be on it, really. You've got to be on, on the ball, I think. Mm. Um, so for me, I was really excited to do a show that also toured because it means that the show can get out to a wider audience and to people that wouldn't normally go to the theatre who might find it difficult to get to the watermill itself. So that was part of the reason why I wanted to take this job. I've certainly never done anything like this, going to small venues, local venues like that. I think you have... She's got no idea. You are in for a treat. Cakes, <laughs> yes. sandwiches. Uh, quiche. I'm hoping for lots of quiche. I did actually recently, last weekend, overhear a conversation on a train, um, which was about me. Um, so I was on a train up to a theatre festival and the train was pulling into the station I needed to get off at and there were people holding up signs with people's names to get in a taxi and um, I heard someone say, oh that's Laura Keefe, I recognise that name. Oh yeah, I think I know her, she's a director and they started talking about me. Not in a horrible way but um, I was too nervous to kind of interrupt so I just scurried off the train and put my head down. So overheard conversations, you do hear them all the time, it's hard, sometimes you forget them. I had one yesterday on the train um, and there were two ladies sitting over my shoulder and further down the train, in quite a loud voice, someone said, yeah, I'm on the phone, I'm on the train. You know, they always do that. And then she said, can you hear me? And the old lady went, we can. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs>